Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Julie, say hi. Say hello everybody. She just woke up from a nap so she's a little bit sleepy. Guys, today we're going to be showing you a video about how to play with your little baby aged 6 to 12 months. Now before I continue, if you're not a member of this family, go hit that subscribe button right now. some fun activities and games that you can do with your little one to help stimulate them to grow and develop that brain. Yay! Now these are super easy things that I've done at home with Juliet that you can replicate at home too. If you want a full guide as to the development, the milestones that your baby should be reaching, then you should download this app. It's called Mamma Mia. It was designed by a mom who's not only a wonderful mom, but she's an occupational therapist, so she knows what she's talking about. So why I really love this app is because it goes through all the developmental phases of your baby's growth, telling you the milestones that your baby should be reaching. The mom that designed the app did all these activities with her little one, so she really has tried and tested these and it's really fun because you get to watch them as well. The Mamma Mia app has four main functions. Activities. There are five activities per week and you can decide how you fit it into your daily routine. There are a number of skills that are addressed throughout the program which include fine, gross motor skills, cognitive and language skills, communication and interaction skills, sensory stimulation, emotional intelligence and self-care. Then number two is the developmental milestones which help you to know the correct developmental guideline according to your child's age. Number three is memories and number four is their family blog. Now another great thing you can do with your little one is just get like a basic box. I've got an old game here and fill it with a whole bunch of trinkets. Look how excited she gets with this. That's all the sort of goodies that she likes to play with. So think about textures. So this is nice and fluffy. This is spongy. We've got a necklace. Now be careful with necklaces. This is a sort of game that you have to supervise at all times. And then we've got the cleaning molds, which are really great. Look at that. They make the jingly sound, which really stimulates the hearing. Whoa. And um, we've got food and just odd things. Uh, some necklaces and bangles from Africa. Hey, look at that things for them to chew on, to touch, to feel. This stimulates all those senses. And so this is your little stimulation box. Another great hint is to actually do this for tummy time. Because you can reach in, if it's a nice shallow box, you can actually reach in, grab the things she wants to play with, and it keeps it all contained in one space. Isn't this fun? <gasps> look at this, look how bright that is. Wow, look at it. Softly rolling the textured balls on a child's back or feet heightens their sensory awareness. Oh, roll down your legs, just roll down your legs. Ding, 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 are great for motor skill development. They're really great at getting them to grasp, rolling, throwing, all perfect for fun and gross motor skills. Yeah, Juliet, look. One, two, three, catch it, 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 catch it,
balls are great for a tummy time workout. Come on, Juliet. She really doesn't like tummy time, so we have to encourage and motivate her, as you can see. What's that? Bouncy, 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 <laughs> oh, it's good. The Mega Set Balls Value Pack are from EduShape. Children will love these unique textured balls. EduShape has a huge range of games and toys for children that are all educational. Love their products. This fun game introduces the peekaboo concept hiding and then letting your baby work out where it's hidden. Look at this. This is a Cheerio. There. Let's go. What's this one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Peekaboo! There it is! Look out. What's this? What's this? That one there. Let's go. What's this one? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Peekaboo! There it is! Let's move it aside. Oh, look here, yeah, where is it? It's not there. Peekaboo! There it is! Peekaboo! Now the hide and go seek game will be hide a Cheerio under a little blankie like this. Oh, what's this? Yes, a Cheerio. Look, a pink Cheerio. Now it's. Look, it's gone! It's gone! Where's it gone? There it is! Yes, you now the older they get, closer to 12 months, they'll actually start to uncover the Cheerio or the item that you've hidden. They start to understand the concept of hiding. <gasps> Look, where's it gone? It's going. Oh, it's gone. It's hidden. It's hidden. Maybe it's under the hippo. Let's see. <gasps> and it's gone. Let's see. <gasps> where's the Cheerio? Where's the Cheerio? There it is. Look. There it is, you clever girl. A little blankie like this by Baby Jack and Co. is a really, really cool item to purchase for your little one. It is so multifunctional, especially during playtime. As you've seen, we can use it as a little cover-up blanket to hide items under. We can also play peekaboo with it. It's a great way to also introduce vocabulary to your child. Look, talking about the animals, the colors, the concepts. If you have an older toddler, they can also then teach the younger one colors, names, shapes using this. He's a bluebird. He's a bluebird. Elephant. That's an elephant. And that's a drop. There we go. And it's really great because it also comes with this little hook so you can attach it to their crib, their stroller, their car seat, or otherwise they can also just chew on that. Juliet loves chewing on that. Now this is the only company that actually sews their little tags closed. I really, really like that. I love that all these tags also have slightly different textures. This one's smooth. This one has more of a rough because it's ribbed. This one's been ruffled. Juliet, what color is this? Orange. It's an orange tag. Yeah, orange. And it's super, super soft and washable. That's tastes yummy. You can taste it if you want. Um. <laughs> yes, it's so cool. Peekaboo! Hello! Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Peekaboo! Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Make some painting, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Now let's go squish. The baggy paint activity is really great for sensory development, fine motor skills, understanding cause and effect, and early writing skills. Mm, yummy. Part of a 
child's early development is that they try to put things into their mouth. All that mouthing and munching encourages a baby to move their tongue inside their mouth. This gives the child awareness of their mouth. These motions help to lay the foundation for learning speech sounds as babies begin to babble while learning to say their first words, mama, dada, and baba. I love the baby elephant teether because it's really easy for baby to grasp and has five soothing textures. This company was started by a mom. They have great ergonomic design and they're suitable for children from birth. And the silicone is certified by the US and they meet all the child safety standards. activity to do with your little one. It's really wonderful for their language development and listening skills. And by using books like these ones, which are hard cardboard, you can introduce these to them quite young, so they can also help to turn the pages, which is also excellent for their motor skills. Come on, let's have a look. <gasps> going on a bear hunt. There we go. Good girl. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Ooh. Turn and push. Good girl. Splash, splush, splash, splush, splash, splush. Turn for mom. Turn for mom. Let's see what's going to happen now. Go. There we go. Good girl. Open and turn. Yay. Can you see the dog? Look, can we push them together? Yay. You try. You try. Yes. As your child hits the 12 month mark, you're going to need to start to look for activities that are a little bit more stimulating for them. This is why I like buckle toys, because their plush toys help children to develop fine motor skills, cognitive skills, hand eye coordination, and problem solving. And this little friendly fellow is called Bubbles. As Julia gets a bit older, I can start to introduce colors and then even later, numbers. Now, I really love toys that grow with your children because when you're spending money, it really gives you great value. Our boys also still love playing with their buckle toys. A really great way to make your own rattle is to take a plastic bottle and use the popcorn seeds or rice dried beans, anything along that line, and you can use it to make something that makes really great sounds for baby. What does this do? Look at Wow! Oh, wow! <laughs> Since babies love to chew on items, especially when they are teething, parents should not be surprised if they bite on blankets, favorite stuff, toys, edges of baby books, keys, their fingers, or even their parents' fingers. Since babies like to chew and teeth on whatever they can find, there are even necklaces and bracelets that are designed for parents to wear that are safe alternative for a baby to teeth on, just like these Mommy's Touch products. These teethers come in a variety of different shapes with wonderful hard nubbly edges. It has a lovely textured surface, great for teething babies. Great for those sore gums. Yummy! Is that good? Yeah, you like that. Finally, a piece of jewelry that they can actually chew on. The shark tooth and fish hook necklaces are designed for kids of all ages. They have medium durability for children or adults. Users will get the longest life from their sensory pendants by chewing with the back teeth and molars. Chewable jewelry created with the popular and meaningful fish hook that can be used for children with sensory seeking needs such as kids with autistic oral fixation, thumb sucking, anxiety and ADHD. Thanks for watching us play today guys, now you can go do some of these fun activities with your little one. Hey, while you're here, go check out this video over here.